In theory, if a cloud ship existed, what would it look like coming to Earth? Would they even be noticed? Again, the recent capture that we've seen this week that I showed you in the last video, there's a certain limit of being able to get in, but we sure can get in a lot. So it's unorthodox as to the asteroids I see. Very uh, different. Lights roaming around. It's hard to detect what's, what we are seeing looks like many objects at one point could be reflect uh, reflection from the sun. Yeah, I get it. But look at it. Very strange as we see it going across. So you know what? I tell you, it would be really silly putting a bunch of lights underneath a UFO as it's going by. We'd have no idea what's going on. They could flash circles, triangles, squares. When you think of it, right? I mean, you know, we're literally looking at it. This object going across the sun. Is there another system beside the sun? So, for example, could this be a whole other solar system going by the sun? I'm telling you, the sun's gigantic. So, these objects could be other systems too. But what about this one? Catching on fire? What seems like it's on fire? And the worst of it? Or we can even see the sunspots on the sun. This object is rotating. A lot of views of the sun this year, my friends, and a lot of UFOs that that beautiful sun was able to, um, beautiful aggressive sun was able to show us. Check it out. It's really cool to get the chance to see some of these objects because I assure you most of them are probably not spoken about. So whether asteroid or craft... Now that other object that looks like the Dark Knight had the nose bent over and now looks like a triangle as it's going around the sun in its orbit. So this was um, a bat confirmed. With all due seriousness, we had some fun with it, but uh, uh, there's a yellow um, light here filter. So uh, maybe that's why people think it's bright because the birds are not bright like that. And I'll show you exactly what they look like without any tampering. Here was yesterday around Jupiter. Jupiter and its moons. You can see a whole bunch of them now. So they turn around and seem to go over top. You can tell the moons are sort of distorted as compared to Jupiter itself. Oh, let's get up, guys. Right by the house. Cool. That was a cool. Oh, downwards? Wow, Jupiter's really low on the horizon. That was a nice capture. 30 seconds into the... 25 seconds into the video. That was a little odd, actually. Maybe that was an asteroid. Or something. Awesome capture. Let's see if we see some... Am I hallucinating? Is there another one? The line on the bottom is the roof of my house because Jupiter's low on the horizon. These UFOs, I did not see with the naked eye. They're very far away. Too bad the house is right there on the bottom, eh? That's interesting. Let's see if we see some more. Am I hallucinating? This is a cool video. I'll stop it and restart it. Be sure I don't lose it. Wait a minute. Guys, I'm not moving nothing. I'm going to keep that rolling. Sorry, Jupiter. It's going to go by the house. Wow, it came out just the right time. Let's see if any other ones go by. Oh, 
and behold, there's another one going right by. You know what? These are asteroids or meteors coming in, I think. Let's keep filming. This is cool. Right. What the okay. I'm lost. Here's a UFO that is changing itself, its shape and form, like it's closing itself up. We're literally wings of light that we can see right there. I'll show it to you a few um, different ways with simple different colors and filters. Our eyes react differently to different colors, and sometimes we see the image a lot better with certain colors. Here's one of my favorites as you'll see with the conversion, as we switch over to the conversion, and then, um, you know, there's no use getting in too close, but we can see uh, different characteristics of all the lights going by in the sky. So no, they're not just lights. They could be very different to one another, maybe even different beings, alive or not. I think science right now is just in the beginning of that, understanding all that, or should I say, They've been doing it for a long time, but I think the public is waking up to the reality that we are not alone. This, one of the lights that came down to the house. Different characteristics once again. Try to recreate this with an infrared camera. This is what I used. Good luck. Are these objects from the moon? I do see lights on the moon. I'm starting to wonder if these objects aren't alive or not. Canadian ufologists says they have a conscience and I believe it well, it's a good possibility under the hazes on the surface of the moon so here we're in the dark the complete complete dark and we're looking at something unpleasant is darkness but then a light appears with a smoke that creates a smoke obviously and watch it's it's moving and watch another light appears under the haze so one's moving and one's appearing beside it and it's creating and showing us the smokes and hazes on the surface. So sometimes it's not pleasant seeing the surface this way. Someone says, well, that's not the moon. Yes, it is. And it's research. I show the beauty of the moon. You all know it. I have videos of it. But I want to show some of these phenomenal anomalies. It's incredible. It takes off. It looks like a cloud. Oof. Going to be hard to trace, eh? on the moon <laughs> and when i say on the moon you can clearly see it's on the surface so ufos on the surface of the moon there must not be thousands of videos out there like that you know even this um you know it's exclusive this capture is exclusive ufos hiding in the lights on the surface and with f simple filters we could see them look at that totally top secret on the moon you can't tell me that's human 
we, we're not that smart, right? Or are we? Could be, but either way, either way, we could fight about that for as long as we want. On the moon itself, there's many signs of proof that people are there or were there. Still, a lot of people follow my channel and tell me, Bruce, they're ancient structures. Total respect for that. You guys could all be right. Who knows? But what if they are recent? Look at this light on the surface that's actually stationary. It's uh, the image moving over. So the whole surface is moving over. So do you understand? It's a stationary object. So with that concluded, with that uh, understood, it's not an explosion because explosions don't last that long, even though I am slowed down here. I admit it. Um, fire on the moon. Something that really intrigues me about that, and when I say really, I mean really intrigues me about it. Andromeda Native Channel said it could be the TR-3Bs roaming around too because we see the lights at one point, the three lights together, and like right here, I say that is the UFO, and on the right, it could be three projectiles or, like others say, a ship, a craft moving around on the surface. I sure as heck hope it's not a war up there. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cause the slow's just coming soon This is the slow's just coming soon